Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yo, yo, welcome to Daily Discipline number 334. My name is Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here. Honored and humbled that you keep coming back like for reals. Thank you. It's uh, it's Sunday fun day. It's a work day for me. Got things to do today. And uh, we're limited on time. It's about 830. So we got to go. Let's do this. First things first. Still the reals. I just said it. I'm working today. I got things to do. It's a combination of uh, some procrastination. Yep. Yeah, I could have done some stuff earlier in the week, uh, but I procrastinated. And, um, you know, yeah, so procrastination, just a lot going on. I got to work today. It is what it is. Um, so a couple public service announcements before we get into our thank yous and, you know, uh, the weekend review. Uh, Bruins played last night at home, got beat uh, 30 to nothing. Yeah. So we were smoked game one. We won big game two, got smoked again. So very inconsistent. And um, Sam had a good game uh, in spite of things. Got lots of touches. He worked hard. Uh, they're just very unorganized. Very. So that's hard to watch. Anyway, uh, public service announcement on that. Uh, obviously, we got the Packers on at noon today, so that'll be fun. Um, what else do I need to tell you? That's about it. Let's do it. So, all right. Run that back, Turbo. Weekend review number 37, 37th week of the year. There's not that many left. Uh, what did we learn? All right. So going back a week ago, you know, I talked about going to the World 100 and how all the things I miss about the World 100, but that I couldn't go because sometimes we have to be a parent and adult and we have to suppress our childish or, you know, sometimes we have to suppress, suppress what we want to do and do what we should or need to do. Right. It's not always fun being a grown up. Um, yeah, we talked about sting like a butterfly, don't be like a bee. Yeah, we were talking, and that was after Sam's really good game. Um, and that message was kind of to him, right? Like, be like, yeah, yeah. And so when I, last week when I was, I watched the E60 on Christian McCaffrey, and I told Sam, like, man, you ought to try to uh, pattern your game after him, like, use him as a role model. It's like, or I could just be Samuel T. I'm like, I like that, right? Um, be the change, no victims. We talked about how when change happens that we need to be the force behind that change and not be sitting around being like, what the hell just happened, right? That change, all the time. Things are changing all the time. Either we're the catalyst behind that change to make our lives better or we're catching up. Uh, NFL winners and losers after week one and all that nonsense, that was awesome. Forgot the Chiefs. I won't forget them this week, Nuke. I got you, bro. Uh, setting goals. And holding ourselves accountable. It's when I laid it down. I told you guys I was going to have my business plan for the view completed in a video to support it up today. We're still on track for that. Uh, the burden of being awesome, right? You know, I have, when you find yourself apologizing because other people can't keep up, right? It, it's not all fun and games to be amazing, right? Like, you know. And then, uh, you know, I was talking about this yesterday. One of the things that I forgot to tell you guys about was that I got caught up on Serengeti. Holy cow. If you if you didn't watch this thing, I would strongly suggest that you do. Um, I was able to connect with uh, nature. It just I mean, it's just awesome. The cinematography is amazing. You know, great storylines. I don't, yeah, you know, look, there, let's just be honest. There's a possibility that the storyline that the narrators tell you isn't exactly how it happened in real life. I don't care. Right. I don't care. Right. There, there are circle of life things in there that at me with my mind sat there and watched them like, why can't we as humans figure out what those animals in the Serengeti can for real, like better together with that. We're done for the day. Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I'll be back tomorrow on a manic Monday. Can't wait to see you. I'll have my stuff posted later tonight and I'll let you know. So if you want to see it, you let me know. Peace out, deuces. See you tomorrow.